Hey. Welcome back, all you OGs out there. Whether you're an online gamer, an original gangster, or just an old geezer like me, this is Yuli1961 for Old Gamers Never Die. And hey, it's 2023. <laughs> Time to party. And I made a video last year around how to retrofit a ramshackle sloop that you get from Freeport. And I referenced it in my beginner's tips video and I went back and looked at it and the game has changed a little bit since then. They've changed the way some of the things collide. So I thought for 2023, why not go ahead and make a brand new video just on how to retrofit this sloop out. So you have an explorer vessel that'll get into just about any place in any island out there. This is a PVE server. I'm not saying it's gonna work great for PVP, but hey, give it a shot. It's small. Maybe people won't notice it. <laughs> and of course, it's going to start raining. All right, well, here we go. We're going to take this loop. Remember, you get this at the Freeport. I, I blew my last one up. <laughs> or other pirates blew it up. Let's just say that. But I went and got another one, and I brought it back here because I want to show you how to do this without docking it anywhere. Because in the beginning, you're not going to have all that stuff. Remember, I told you to spend all your points on taming animals because that's where you get all your stuff. All right, well, to get this done, you are going to need some other places that you spent your points. And you likely have probably already done this. But if you haven't, here's where you're going to need. You're going to need, under construction, you're going to need to be able to build the loom, which is under basic building, which you get right here. Primitive construction opens up the unlock for construction of mercantilism. You go over here, you get basic building and you've got your wooden chair, rope, loom, tannery and storage box. You've probably already done this because you're gonna to wanna to get metal tools and all that kind of good stuff, right? All right, so you're also going to need to come down here through handyman and get to secrets of building. And again, you've probably already done this because you want to start building in wood and building larger storage boxes. And these points can come pretty quick too. As you're ranking up your beast mastery, put your points next into building. All right. The other thing you're going to need, if you go back down here to survivalism and scroll down, you're going to need to get into seamanship because in seamanship and in captaineering, that's where you can start outfitting a ship. We're going to build this in parts and the end result will be something you can take out there and not have to worry about anything. You can farm ships of the damned. You can farm wrecks out in the ocean. You can go to different islands. You don't have to worry about getting stuck on the sandbars as long as you're careful. And it's going to be really a multi-purpose loop. Okay. So you're going to have to get the seamanship and in seamanship, you want to get down through this tree right here. You start with the dinghy, which is basically a sailing. Please don't buy the dinghy. You don't need a dinghy. You will need to get this so you can get the parts for the sloop. Navigation tools, which is the sextant. Some people love the sextant. I, 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 I can take it or leave it. It's a mini game that you play to speed your ship up. You're going to want to get down to shipwright where you can start making sails. And then you want to get down to this one, the medium handling sail. I like the handling sail more than the speed sail. You can get put either one of them on this boat. You can only put one medium sail. You had two small ones, but it's going to really speed the boat up. Medium speed sail will make you faster. But when there's no wind, you're not going anywhere. So your speed doesn't help you any. The handling sail has a much wider radius at which it catches wind. And so even though it's not quite as fast as a speed sail, it'll still get you going and get you out of issues even when the wind is almost blowing directly in your face. So that's why I always choose the handling sails when I get there. Okay, so you'll need to get there. The other piece that you're going to want to be able to do is captaineering because you want this one. Basics of crew, which is your food larder and your ship resource box. Those are the things that are going to feed your crew and it's also going to give you a place to stack your stuff up as you're out there exploring and finding cool things. And then finally, you're going to want to unlock artillery. So you'll have to come through here, go down through combat, armory, range weaponry, and then get down to artillery. Again, this is something you do in stages. You don't have to do all this at once, but these are the things that you're going to need if you want to outfit this ship the way I'm going to have it when we get done. But I'm going to take it through in phases so you can build parts of it. And then as you get more experience and you get more experience points, you can spend on things to upgrade the ship without having to change anything. You just keep adding to it, right? Or what you're going to need to build this thing, go over here to my little locker where I've been storing stuff in preparation for this video. You're going to want this diving attachment. This is in the basic ship building. You're going to want the food lauder, like I told you in captaineering. You're going to want a box, which is in the wooden construction part. You're going to want this medium handling sail. I like to put a mortar and pestle in the ship. You don't have to. You're going to need an ammo box. 
You're going to shoot cannons. You're going to need a place to put your ammo. You get three cannons, the ship's resource box. You're going to need a wheel. Make sure before you start this thing that you can do this. At least you need to be able to make a wheel. You need to make this diving bell here, a bed, which you should be able to make already, and these wood structures here. Smithy, again, I like to have it in there. It's optional. You don't have to have it right away. And this boat is going to get heavy really fast until you level it up some. So if you build it in stages, you're probably better off anyway because then you take it out, level it up some more, put some more into weight, and then you're ready for the next piece of it. Okay? So let's get started. We're going to get started with just a few things. We're going to need these walls. We're going to need some floors. And we're going to need... Uh, let's take half of these. Because, you know, I don't want to be weighed down. I don't know. How, how's my weight? My weight good? Yeah, my weight's good. Okay. We're going to come over here. We're going to start our building process. Now, there's several ways you can do this. This is how I do it. <laughs> You may have seen other videos where people doing it, but this is a ship. Remember, this is the, the ramshackle sloop, exactly as you get it from the dude over there on the Freeport. Like I said, make sure you're at a place where you can replace the sails and replace that wheel because we're going to take it up. All right, so goodbye, sail. Goodbye, wheel. And I say this because if you can't do this, this boat does you absolutely no good because it's not going anywhere. And even if it did, you couldn't steer it. Okay, that's all gone. Nice, fresh canvas to work on. Okay, now, here's the thing that we have to start with. This diving bell, right here, will only go two places. And the reason I tell you we've got to take that wheel up, because that wheel sat right here and blocks this from being placed. It doesn't matter which side you put it on. I, I I just put it on the right side because that's just where I put it. This is the first thing you want to put down when you start doing this retrofit. So don't do it until you can do this piece. You will need to be able to replace your sail. You need to replace your wheel and you need to be able to make this diving port. Okay. Very important because the this is kind of the key to start getting you into gold and getting you exploring out there. So we're going to put that down right there on the right hand side. All right. So we got that there. Now we've got a reference point to work from, right? And now here's here's kind of a trick here. We're going to take out some of the floor. So square ceiling, that's what we're deleting. Make sure you're not deleting planks because we're, we're not in a dry dock situation. You take the planks out, you're going to sink. But look, we can take these planks out just like this. Come right out. We're getting a little resources back. It's not going to be enough to replace everything. So that's why I say go ahead and uh, get your replacement stuff. All right. So now I'm going to put down a wall here. And it's going to be, you, you don't want to put a full wall because it's going through the floor, right? And it won't clip anyway. So you want to go to your half wall. Pop that in there. Okay. Now, here's where it gets a little bit tricky. You don't want to put this here. You want to put it down here. Okay. So let's get down here. And then you pop it right in there. Oops. Did it go? Yes, it went. You get a free swimming pool in the bottom of all these boats now. <laughs> ah, it's like a visual glitch. It's not really water in here, but it does tend to make it building a little bit wonky. All right, so we're just going to take this all the way down. And since we're not anchored, these pieces have to heal up a little bit, right? Because when you put them down, they're not going to be fully will yeah you know what i mean they're not they're not complete <laughs> does that make sense all right so we're gonna do that and we'll leave that here for right now so we can get in and out pretty easy now here's where things get a little bit tricky you're gonna have to do some stuff and honestly if you screw it up it's not a big deal you just got to make a few more pieces okay but the way these things clip in you have to do them in a certain order or else they just won't work nine times out of 10. All right, so you're gonna put a wall down here. It doesn't matter whether the wall is facing in or whether it's facing out. I like to make the pretty side facing in. I'm gonna put a wall down right there. Okay, so that's gonna stay there. That's that's fine. Okay, now here's the piece that you wanna be able to move fast on. 
and that's we're gonna put a roof here now if you try to put it on here most of the time it's gonna get really glitchy trying to go we want it to go down and we can click it around but it really doesn't want to do that but if we go on this side and there we go make it like that and then make that one whoops that one didn't work and then you can go flip it like that and then like i said if you're really fast you can go back here and pick up this one before it it finishes solidifying and you got it all right so this is the start we're making progress this is cool okay so down this side is the easy side we're just going to go down and put You don't have to, there's nothing to clip them to. Everything's cool. Uh, we get down here. There's a couple of options that you can do. I like to just seal this off. You can put a doorway here if you want, but I like to seal it off. So we're going to go to our corner. We're going to put it just like that. Like I said, if you wanted to seal it off, you can put a doorway here, which is that it's it's just kind of wonky and it doesn't a lot of times doesn't want to go there but you can usually put down just the straight roof there and you can put another corner here or that's a triangle corner right there you may have to like move around a little bit to make sure it works but again we're in, we're unofficial i'm not flying i'm not doing anything weird or special that you can't do unofficial everything here is the game dynamics such as they are suspend your belief in physics for a little while with me as we build this boat. all right so we're going to go back to the roof pieces now here we're going to we're only going to go down part way so let's get the regular there we go that's what i want and i want one more all right now looking at we're going to stop there because the trick here is if you clip too far into this diving bell, it won't work. It won't let you access the, the inventory to put oil in there so you can actually use it. You have to be a little bit careful about how you do that part. So we're going to go back around the back. Okay. And we're just going to put one here. And then we're going to put a corner piece. And now we're kind of duck a little bit because here's here's a decision point that you need to make if you like to have this ladder in the back so that you can get in and out easily from the back of the boat then you can't put a piece in here that's a full roof piece because you see it, it intersects the ladder and you can't climb up it anymore if you don't mind putting rope ladders around your boat which a lot of times i'll do i'll just block this off and it gives me a little bit of extra protection across the back, which is where you're going to take most of the damage anyway. But if you want to, you can put half stairs in. Now they won't clip like this, but what you can do is if you put in one ceiling piece right there, and then we go back to our roof piece. We go to our half stairs. Now they'll clip. And now you can still use that ladder. You get up here, you just climb up onto your boat, and everything's cool. Okay, so we're going to do it like that just for people who like to get in the back of the boat. Okay, now we go back to our corner. And again, it, you got to kind of get the right angle here for it to want to clip together. Sometimes it just wants to be a pain. If that happens to you, the easiest thing to do is just go and make it a full piece because you're going to want a full piece going down here anyway. There we go. And now this piece should work. Go. Roof corner. All right, cool. All right, and then we go to, we're going to go to another decision point here. How much room do we want to have in the boat? Okay, so 
So I, like I said, I can make this come off cross here and avoid touching this at all. Or I can bring it up one more. This one I'm going to have to cap here. And so we're going to bring this up one more. Give us as much room under roof as we could possibly get. Flip. There we go. And then one more corner piece. Okay, see, it's it's a little bit, it's colliding a little bit, but what we want to be able to do is, as long as we can access the inventory, we're good. Okay, so we can access the inventory here. Everything's awesome. All right, and now I'm going to put doors in. Because, you know, you don't want people just going into your boat and, and plundering stuff. You want to have doors. You want to close things off. You want to make sure, you know, you don't get a lion in here that you're not expecting. So... We're going to take the roof pieces one more time. We're going to go to the roof doorway, put one there. We're going to put one there. Huh? Cool, huh? It's a little bit of a, you know, a, a roller coaster ride is what it is. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and put in our ceilings. And put one there and one there. And we're going to put one there. Okay. Now for our extra walls here, just so we make sure we don't have anybody, you know, messing with stuff, we're going to put doors in right here so we don't have to worry about that. But, you know, you don't want stuff, people getting into your, your side piece here. Because you can, if you go over here, um, when you're in this boat and it's put together, even if you seal this off, if somebody gets in here, they can kind of little down the side so what we're going to do is we're going to go over here get out and up and up yules there we go so we're going to put a slope wall in here that will keep you from having to worry about people getting into your boat so we're going to take this we're going to change it to the slope wall slope wall left and slope wall right. E flips it so that both sides are the same. And we'll clip that one in. There we go. All right, so now we have all that clipped in. Everything's locked in nice and tightly. This works. Now look at the, the, the weight on the ship. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm putting some weight on it. So that's why I say you might want to Kind of do this piece and then level it up some once you get the sail and everything on there. Hello, Mr. Mana. Why are you on the shore? You're like waiting for me. Ah, here, come here. You shouldn't be up here. Not allowed to be on the shore. Got my front yard. Oh, I needed some uh, filet of soul for the night. Real quick. There. I need it all, you know, because that's what this takes. <laughs> what a coincidence. Couldn't have asked for more. You're up close enough to the ground. You can almost jump on this thing like that. But, okay, so we're going to go over here. We're going to put some oil in here. Since we just got it from our friendly mana. Pop that in there. And that will make the diving bell work. All right, so now we need a few more pieces. And we're going to be ready to start testing this Lovely little ship out. We're going to need a wheel. We're going to need our bed. We want to make sure we put that on there. We're going to need our doors. And we're going to need our sail. That's about all we have to have right now. The only other thing that I have, I have a couple more pieces to add in here that I can account for with some more roof pieces because we're going to need a couple more stairs. Now, the stairs will only work you look at this, uh, we're going to make a couple more roof pieces. So roof piece two. Oh, we'll just make it the hard way. Okay, so roof pieces, I'll turn them into small stairs. Okay, so we're going to make our our small, our, our half stairs. Now, this is a little bit janky, so you got to play around with it some. But we're going to put one there. And we're going to put one there. Look at that. See? Isn't that cool? All right, so we go up and we go down. 
Bring both sides of the boat. Now we got to put our doors in. Remember, a door is a door is a door. Let's go out, put that one in from there. Okay, so now we have our little boat. We can go up either side and everything is cool, okay? All right, so what are we missing? Well, we're missing a wheel and a sail. So let's get our sail out. I bring that over here? I did. All right, we're gonna put that. I like to put it at the front of the boat. I don't know if it looks better or not. I like to put it at the front just because it's easy for me to do when I don't have a crew yet. Because we can put it all the way at the front as far as it'll go and pop it down there. And then I can put my wheel right behind it. Pretty much. Come on. Right. It <laughs> turned blue for a second. There it goes. Hey, yeah. So the problem you got is when you get up here, you're, you're kind of in, you can see, I'm trying to put it on here and it, it won't go. And that's because you're kind of standing in the room that it needs to be to put this, this wheel down. So you can still put it here. What you have to do is you got to back up a little bit and just kind of ease your way down here. And when you get down, now it should kind of go into place. Just figure it out. Got to kind of tweak it a little bit back and forth. Uh, and just try to line it up as best you can in the center position and boom. All right, is it working? We can access it. Yes, we can. Can we look up and access the sail? Oh yes, we can. You know, I showed you in the very beginning, you can jump on the sail like this and you can turn the sail. The problem with having this setup is when you do that, when you pop out, you're going to pop out underneath. You have to run out here and grab. It's not a big problem. I mean, as long as you're not in the middle of a battle, it's not usually a problem. But when we get this set up, the first thing you want to do is get your crew person to put on here. Oh, you only need one, right? So it's only five cold. No problem. So now we're, we have our, our wheel and we have our sail back on. So the ship will move and everything is cool. Okay. As you can see, my weight is way high. Look at this. I haven't leveled it up. See, there, this is a level one ship. I just drove it over here. So there, I've got four levels I can put in it. And right now I can, it'll hold 1500 pounds and it's at 882. Oh, so, uh, it's going to move really slow. But since I've, I, I got four levels coming over here, I'm going to pop those all into weight. And I get up, actually, huh, I only had one level. <laughs> well, that's nice. Yeah, I had one level. Okay, because I had four and yeah, I'm stupid. Okay, so <laughs> pop that into weight and I get a little bit more. And I'm, I'm, it's 1,600 over it. I'm, I'm about half full, right? But I have a few more pieces to add here that you're going to you're gonna love. This, is, this just makes it cool looking, right? I mean, you don't have to put these on right now because we're not going to put our cannons on yet. They're heavy. And they require more crew. And we don't have more crew yet. So what we're going to do is we are going to take some things. And I'll show you how roomy everything is. We got our our chest. We got our larder. We got our resource. And we have our smithy. So let's actually we're going to take this too. Okay. We're going to be heavy. It's okay. Because we're just going to you know drive around the island a little bit until we level up a little. If you've taken your sloop out and been running around, you may already have levels. Just put them in a weight and you're, you'll be cool. Okay, so we're going to go back here. This is... We're going to have to put a few things in that are going to be... Uh, you know, they're going to take up a little bit of space. Okay, so... we got a nice open space back here. We just got this sail in the way. But we can go around it. Okay, so you got all that area there. You got area in here... The problem is, is you got this wall here. Watch this. Hold your breath. Once you get everything put together, that wall can go away. Look at all that space in here. Awesome. It's amazing how things fit. Okay. So now we have room to do things like put our food lauder in here. It'll fit right. Let's push it all the way back. As far as back as we can get it without it getting damaged. And let's move it over to the side just a little bit. So we got some, you know, you can do aesthetically and make everything centered, but we're trying to, we're trying to put stuff in here. So we got everything we need. Sometimes that means you have to make some sacrifice. So we're going to put this here. Oops. Yep. And then we're going to take our ship's box because we're going to need a place to put our stuff. And we also have to be able to feed our crew. So we have our, our food larder so we can feed our food our, our crew that way just to turn blue and then we're going to center it a little bit better there we go but we're going to squeeze it in i'm going to try to make it as as nice as i can 
but we want to get it in here so that we've got some room there that works okay so we can access that we can access this now down here what we're going to do is we're going to take our smithy wait before we do that let's put our bed in now sometimes i've done this and it i don't want to let me put my bed in here but we're good the bed fits everything's cool we're gonna put our bed right here it's a little bit damp it's a water bed is what it is we can slide it over to the side a little bit. I think mean, we can run through it, but you want to be able to place as many things in here as you want. So maybe if you do this, you can put a little storage box over there. Okay, so we're going up here, and now we're going to put our smithy in. Look at that. Look at that. It fits right there. Boom. Smithy. Done. So we can go our smithy. We can get our stuff from our resource box. We can get to our larder. And... We can even go ahead and put in and put our ammo box right here. There we go. Got that in there. We can put our mortar and pestle right here. Let's let's just jump up here and put it right, right there. I don't like to put it right up against here because I want to be able to have that room to move through there. So, uh, but we got lots of room over here. See, we can put it right here. Now we can put a box in. I put my storage box. I did. Look at that. But we can't really put it because of the bed. See, the bed is, is a problem. How you decorate your boat is up to you. It's your it's your boat. You can do it the way you want to. No, see, it won't go in there that way. I was afraid of that. Okay, well, it'll go, it'll go this way. Oh, there we go. Yeah, see, we can put it right here. It's tight. I, I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. But look at all the stuff we got. We got a storage box. We got a smithy. We got our resource box. We got our food lauder. What is this door? What is that door? Everything's locked up tight. And we have... A diving belt that we can use to go dive wrecks. See? Ain't that pretty? I'm ready to roll. <laughs> okay. Enough silliness. All right. So we got we got all that stuff taken care of. What I will typically do on the back here is I'll take my ceiling tiles. And, you know, you can put them like this and like this and put cannons on there. That's where my cannons usually go, but that doesn't look cool. It doesn't look as cool as if you do a little bit of this and a little bit of that, and a little bit of this and a little bit of that. See, it looks like wings and that like a spoiler. <laughs> you don't want to put it again. You don't want to put anything back here. Cause if you do, you won't be able to get that, up that ladder, but you could put a, a, a catwalk in like that and like that to give yourself a little bit more, you know, moving around room up here. But we're going to put a cannon over here. We're going to put a cannon over here and we're going to put a cannon in the back. That gives us three cannons to shoot at whoever's chasing us. Yeah. Cool, huh? Um, you can, like I said, you can just, if you want to make it really, you know, finished off, you can put this on here and make it nice and pretty. It's up to you. It adds weight. Everything, everything you're putting on here adds weight. But now you've got a nice little area back here you can move around on. You can put a fire back here if you wanted to or, or whatever you want to do okay so we got all that done now if you really are ready to go and you 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 you've gotten all the way through all these steps and you're like i'm ready to go kick some butt here then by all means that's 210 pounds to add to your boat plus ammo You don't want to sink your boat. <laughs> so what you may want to do is put two of them on and then put the third one on later because you're going to need crew to fire them anyway. So, but I'm going to put them on here just so you'll see what it looks like as a finished product. Okay. Look at this. I mean, this is about as max. It's 1,600 pounds that this boat will carry. 
I'm at 1180 with these cannons on here. So until you rank this thing up a little bit and put some more weight on it, I would not suggest putting the cannons on the back. But really what you're wanting to do here is get yourself out there and start um, start being able to farm ships. When you farm ships, you get gold. You're going to need gold to feed your crew anyway. But let's do this. We're going to put the cannons on here. This thing's going to move like a ton of bricks in the water. But, you know let's let's do it all right so lining up cannons you know you want to make sure you get them as best you can towards the front of the boat i like to kind of angle them because i use medium cannons so that they can turn them to fire and if i do it this way then they're kind of they're a little bit out of the way but if you want to line them up really well you can go to third person which helps a little bit the other thing you can do is go to k mode which is your your orbital camera K mode's a little bit weird in that when you go into the mode, it, it kind of makes things move funny or it place weird, but you can see exactly where it's going to be when you place it. So you can kind of do this whole orbital thing. You can zoom out more and you can really make sure you're putting it where you want to put it. The only thing is you, you only can go forward and backwards or side to side. So you can't really angle things. So you just got to be careful and take it right to the edge. That looks pretty straight and we'll put that down. Boom. Okay, one cannon down, right? I'll come back out of K mode. I'm gonna come back here and put this other cannon down. And, then, and now here's why I put them this way, because if you do all this stuff, and I said, this is a, this is a multi-purpose, multi-explorer, whatever. You can go anywhere, do anything with this boat. And the reason I'm kind of spacing them out and you can say, well, you know, the pirates can just blow them off. Yeah, they can, but you can replace them. I mean, these are just vanilla cannons. It's not like I'm gonna, you know, break the bank on them. If I was making mythical class ship, I would probably be doing it in a schooner or something else, but not a sloop. But this gets you around. And I know a guy from, from days of yore that played the whole game in just this boat. Never up, did anything but upgrade this boat. And he sailed the whole map, not just a few places. I mean, he did everything. We did the Kraken battle. He just brought his little boat. And, eh, you know, he had to let us, the bigger boats, do a lot of damage. But, eh, yeah. All right, so we're going to get this one lined up the best we can. That looks good. We'll back up with just a, just a hair. Boom. All right, that one's there. And now we're going to put one more here. Right in the center. I don't want to put it too far up because I want to be able to get up my ladder, right? So you want to put it back a little bit, not too far back because we're going to also at some point want to be able to put a ballista on here or whales because, you know, whales got lots of gold, but that's for another day. Okay. We're going to pop that there. Now I got three cannons. I can take out most ships of the dam with these three cans, as long as I'm kiting it and I'm being careful and paying attention to what I'm doing. Once I get the boat leveled up a little bit. And that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to run around the island a few times. Maybe I'll dive a shipwreck. We'll see. But I'll be right back. And once I have some levels on it, you'll be able to see how fast this thing can go. And like I said, it'll get into pretty much anywhere on the map. Looky here. See, this is why I want to make sure I have a diving bell on here. Let's close the sail up and back up some. Don't see any bad guys around. That's a good thing. Almost is like two wrecks, but I think it's just one. We should have enough oil in here. I haven't leveled the ship up as many times as I wanted to, but it's moving along a little bit better. I'm going to head back to my other base after this and grab a crew member or two that I've got somebody on the cannons and somebody on the sail, which makes this infinitely easier to travel on. All right, let's see. I think we're, I think we're pretty well set. It'd be cool if this is actually two wrecks. I, I don't think it is, but we'll find out. Nice quality though. Okay. So, uh, if you've never dived on a wreck before, this is pretty much it. You got to have a diving platform. You don't have to, you can do it without it, but I would do it with nothing on and nothing in my inventory because the sharks might eat you. But this is the easy way to do it. Cause if you have the diving suit on, the sharks don't mess with you. I think we've got enough oil to do this, at least for one dive. It's going to get dark down there cause it's nighttime. So just so that you can see a little bit better on the video, if you hit tilde, you're going to go into the kind of the settings menu and you can adjust your gamma. I'm going to put it at 3.8 so we can see, or that y'all can see as we go down. It's going to go down. It's going to be fairly light. And then it's going to start getting really, really dark. And then it's going to clear up a little bit. If you're lucky. <laughs> I say that because 
Yeah, I've told you this. It's a glitchy game, and sometimes you can dive down here and there's no bottom. <laughs> Which is scary. Oh, look, the ship's here. Okay, cool. All right, so we're going to actually get us some treasure. That's awesome. The other thing you can pick up while you're down here, if you know you're feeling frosty, is uh, these things here are seaweed. You can just hand pick them. And you'll have some different fiber that you wouldn't normally have. Okay, so typically my luck is this. I Whatever side of the ship I go into, the treasure's always in the other one. So I go in and I just turn around and see, there it is. It's in the other side. Once you play a little bit and get used to the different ships and how to get around in them, you'll, this will get a whole lot easier even in the dark, but there we go. There's a ship. Oh, look, we got mythos too. 133 gold. Awesome. We'll just take that and we're going to go back up. Just follow the line back up. And as long as you have this suit on, the sharks won't bother you. If you accidentally take the suit off or you run out of oil and the suit pops off or the boat moves because, you know, your buddy's up there and they decide they want to take off, your suit will come off. And then, yeah, you're fair game. It also keeps you from getting cold while you're underwater. You will move faster, even though it seems like it's really slow when you're underwater versus on top of the water. Just keep your suit on until you get back on the boat. When you're back on, hit X, the suit comes off, see? And you're ready to go again. I'm going to try to hit this trade winds over here. You see it, the little blue line or light blue line on the water. Let's uh, let's get our, let's, <laughs> let's not blow our vision out when we start this thing up again. Let's uh, let's go ahead and get our gamma back down. I usually run my gamma like 2.8. Seems like it works pretty good. And then just hit tilde again. Come on. Tilde would be good. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you know, the little backwards apostrophe there. We got it right. Okay, we're going to go try to get on the trade winds and get down to my island, which is... What was that? Um, my other base that I've kind of alluded to in the other video is down here. And I have a nice setup where I'm breeding animals. I've got a place on the shore. I've got a little fob forward operating base. <laughs> on this island because there's a lot of metal here which is a nice way to do it because you can as long as you don't have anything on you because you drop everything when you fast travel you can bounce between these beds and just kind of store stuff and then take a ship through and get it but as long as i'm on the trade winds i'm going to move a lot faster i'll level the boat up a little bit more and i'll get down here to my base where i've got some extra crew and we'll get this ship going Let's get us in the trade winds and let's see, get on the wheel. We're going to open the sails and we're going to go. Still not moving as fast as I want to. You can see the weight is still pretty high, but by the time I get down to my base and get back up, I should be running pretty well. And I'll have a crew with people to man the cannons back there. So when the ships of the dams come up behind me, I'll be able to blast them. All right. See you in a minute. All right. We're back. And I had a revelation while I was trying to level the ship up. See, I've got, I've got the three guns and I've got three people manning them. I have a sailor person who is manning the sail. So I've rearranged things a little bit in here. Putting these things in here sideways is a lot better for space and conservation. And you know, you gives you more space to use, you can see. So yeah, let's talk about how that happens. So. The way to get that to work that way. So I did not move the smithy, but I just kind of moved everything else around. And you can put this on either side. It really doesn't matter. I had it on the other side. So you can leave that where it was, or if it was too far over, then you can move it. But this is what we're going to do. We're going to, I'm going to sacrifice a cannon here and um, on a box. So let's tell this guy to get off the cannon because he needs to get off the cannon before we can get started. Okay, so all we have to do is hit unseat and he will jump off. It used to be you wanted to have your sailors not on the cannons because it costs more money when they were on the cannons and on the sails versus like standing there sweeping, but it costs the same now. So I, you can take them off and have them start sweeping and repairing your boat. The only thing they're going to repair, they'll repair the stuff that's the boat. They're not going to repair any of this extra stuff we put on there. So they'll repair the planks. 
they'll repair the sail and the, I believe they, they'll repair the wheel, but the rest of the stuff they're not going to fix. So you're going to still have to go around with the hammer, but you can do that on this kind of boat. I don't recommend it because if something happens out here on the ground, there's a tame that gets loose and gets into something, or there's a aggressive, like a tiger or something that, that attacks something and these guys trigger on it, they'll run off the boat and start fighting it. And they don't have any weapons, <laughs> so they're going to die, which is exactly what happened to the first three guys I had on the cannon. I had to go get some more. But anyway, okay, so he is off the cannon. We are going to, uh, oh, this kills me, but we're going to demolish this cannon. Bye-bye, cannon. See ya. And we're going to take out this floor piece. And the reason I have to take the cannon out, it's going to go away anyway, because when I take this floor piece out, it's going to drop this. Remember, we had to clip this onto the floor piece, this uh, back panel here. So it's going to make that go away and the floor piece is going to go away, but you kind of got to do it. If you're going to do like, I've got it set up under here. So they're gone. See, they popped off. All right. Just for the sake of argument, I'm going to go ahead and take this stuff out. Excess inventory. And we'll just take whatever's in here out of there. And I'm going to demolish this because you know, I'm that kind of guy. I'm willing to take one for the team. So we're going to demolish, make sure I'm doing the right thing. Mess table. Yeah. Locked. Gone. And then we're going to take anything that's in here. Is anything in there? I don't think there's anything in there. Oh yeah. My special steering wheel I got from picking up a wreck that was above what? 16.9 or whatever. And then some fertilizer. I was going to take to the fob to grow some wheat. Uh, okay. So now this goes away. See a uh, large storage box and now this this is the kicker this really kills me um well let's get the stuff out of it yeah i mean you can take the stuff out because you it's not going to add to the boat it's just going to be you know add to you we're gonna take all this stuff out of here so that it doesn't disappear when we make this go away okay well, now we're heavy but that's okay and this goes away demolish if resource box goodbye and it'll leave some things that you'll take with you okay all right we're good all right so now you see how much room is in here, but you couldn't get it before because you push that thing back here and it wouldn't, you know, you go in here and like I was doing it before you put that there, or even if you slide all the way over or try to turn it, it won't, it won't really set right because you can't get in to set the other piece in. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we can't jump anymore because we're like overloaded. I'm going to put all this stuff in here so that I don't get you know, bogged down so much. Just, just, let's just put it all in there and I'll take out what I need. Okay. So we, we do need this. We need that, that, we need this, we need this and we need that. Okay. I am going to put these ladders on here because I'll tell you why I've had the, the staircase in the back and it does get you the, the ladder. So if it makes you more comfortable to do it that way, that's fine. But your rear end is where you're going to take most of the cannon fire from the ships of the damned and it hurts. And you don't have, you really, it's hard to get back here to fix it. So I am going to put a solid piece back here when we put this back on. Okay. So here we go. We're going to, we're going to kind of get down here and we're going to place, I like putting this down first because then I can really get an idea of where things are going to go. We're going to put it as far over this way as we can get it with. And that looks like about it as far back as we can go. There. Now, see? Perfect. And now I can also put in this box, which wouldn't go in there before because I couldn't turn it, right? Because I was trying to do it from the other side. So you just drop the box in there. And now that's there. Now we can put this roof piece back on. And I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to put the solid ladder. And I'm going to go ahead and, and reel up this ladder. Oh, it won't let me do it. Wow. Okay. Well, used to be able to pull them up. Guess it just doesn't want to go up right now. The game does that to you sometimes. All right. We're going to put this ceiling piece back here and we're just going to make the whole piece. And I know it's going to kill that ladder, but it's okay because I'm going to put some other ladders on. I brought some with me and now we can replace our cannon. And I, if you see, I kind of scooched it over a little bit. Um, because if I do this, if I scooch it over a little bit, 
it it makes it so that it's easier to get up from the back and i'm gonna i'm gonna put a ladder back there it's just not gonna be the one that, that originally was with it and i can actually put another cannon here if i wanted to or um i can put the ballista up there all right so we're gonna use k mode again like i said before and just to make sure we're putting it in the right place i don't want to put it too far up so i can get in here yeah that looks good that looks good i think yeah that'll work let's go up a, i'll tell you what we'll go up a little bit okay nah I like it. I like it. They're right there. Let's do it. There. Cannons down. All right. Remember when you're in K mode that when you're walking, you're going forward and backward and you can't turn. You don't walk off your boat while you're in K mode sometime. Because I've tried that and it doesn't. It, it, yeah, you end up in the water. All right. We're going to put this guy back on the cannon. Everybody's cool. Yep. 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 All right. Now, I like I said, I've got these ladders that I got to put up, but I, I want to put my resource box back in here. So I can put my stuff in because that's where they're using stuff out of the resource box to fix your ship with. So you want to have that in here. And that's also where they're getting paid from. And you know, they don't get paid. They don't like it. And they might just jump off and leave you in a lurch. All right. So we just put our resource box right back here where it was. Boom, shakalaka. We are in business. I can take this stuff back out of here and we can take it all out. Because if you do the move all on the ship's box, it's only going to let you put in resources. See? It left all the food out. And when you go to the, the water, it's only going to let you put in food. Aha! Isn't that cool? Okay, and then you put the rest of the stuff in here. Now, every time I die, I get another one of these things. So, yeah. Maybe I'll put one on the wheel. Let's do that. All right, we got that. Okay, so just to get our, our situation straight so we don't get stuck without a ladder, let's do that real quick because we don't want to go out there and not have a way onto our ship. So we're going to put a ladder here. And we're going to go down this way. Or we're going to put a ladder here. And you got to make sure it gets on. Uh, let me out. Okay, make sure it clips on the actual outside piece, not underneath of it. Because if it's underneath, it's not really going to work. Come on. There you go. We're going to put one on the front of the boat this time. Because that's another... Water mechanics today have been really wonky. <laughs> They're not always wonky. Come on. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's do it. Oh, no. There. Did it work? Uh, all right. And I use up uh, somewhere a ladder spawned that wasn't supposed to. Where did it go? Because now I don't think I have. Is it still in my inventory? No. I have a ladder somewhere, probably inside my boat. Oh, well. That's okay. It's three ladders. If I can't get on the boat with three ladders and a grappling hook, you know, I don't deserve to get on the boat. All right, and then you kind of kind of jump a little bit to get up here, but you're good. See, everything's great. And there's a little way, you know, you don't run into the cannon getting up here. Okay, we're set. We've got all our stuff. We've got plenty of room. It's nice and neat. I, you know, I did it earlier and I was like, yeah, it's, eh, we're not going for neatness, but it does make a difference when you want to put more stuff in here. So it's nice and neat over there. It's nice and neat over here. Got our water bed and our fire. I put a little fire in there and our mortar and there's, oh yeah. Did I, did I bring them out here? I picked up some ballista bolts while I was, uh, you know, doing wrecks, leveling the boat up. Okay. So we did a wreck. Actually, we did a bunch of wrecks, but you didn't see those. And now we're really going to put this to the test. We're going to go look for some bad guys. This is not a war vessel. It is not, that's not what this is built for, but you can protect yourself. So if you get into a jam and you've got bad guys after you, you can blow them up. The, at least the ships are the damned. I, you know, if you're playing PvP and you're playing against other people with much better boats and much better ammo and guns, this is not going to work for you. But it's a good, like I said, it's built for exploration. It's not built for war. It's a lover, not a fighter. Oh, no, because if you're a lover, you got to be a fighter. Because if you don't fight for your love, what kind of love do you have? But... It will get you there. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna hop in here. I have put some levels on it. You can see we're at level twenty three now instead of five or four or whatever it was. So we can go a little bit faster. I have to be careful going out of this dock. This ship turns a lot faster than the modular ships. All the legacy ships have a different turn mechanic than the modular ships. They turn a lot faster, even at speed 
than the, the modular ships do. And I like that. I like I like the legacy ships because the legacy ships still have the cool creaking and moaning. The modular ships do some, but these really make you feel like you're on the water. Now, granted, the water mechanics in this game have gotten worse, not better over the years. And the, the modular ships are no better. I took my cog out the other day, and as soon as I got away from the dock, it just nosed into the water and went straight down and somersaulted over itself. So it's not about the custom ships, whatever the devs might try to tell you. The water mechanics are messed up. And come on, devs, fix this stuff, because this used to be a problem. When the game started, the water mechanics worked good. It was some of the other stuff that didn't work. So, hmm. all right, so I'm going to go and I'm going to find us some bad guys. And when I do, I'll come back and we'll blow them up. Yeah, I got 49 cannonballs. That ought to be enough to get a few, maybe one. <laughs> Let's go find some. All right, here we go. What size is he? That's a galleon. Level two galleon. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. We're going to give it a shot. We're going to see what happens. What's the worst that could happen, right? <laughs> uh, the worst that could happen is he's got like five uh, support ships around him, and then I'm really screwed. All right, so what I'm going to try to do, I'm, I'm with the wind, even though the ocean is really choppy and being stupid. I'm going to try, he's going to broadside me if I get too close. But since I'm going in the, no, he's going the same direction as I am. Thinking he's going to come my way. But, you know, that's not going to happen. We're going to have to chase him down. We're going to have to get get him mad at us. Oh, well, look at that. we got a level. Let's let's put some more speed because it's faster than it was. <laughs> yeah. It, fast is a relative term. This is no Millennium Falcon, that's for sure. It's a ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. <laughs> it's not that. Okay, we're gonna just stop like we're hurt. Squawk, squawk, I'm hurt. Please, please, kind sir, help me out. Come over here and help me. All right, let's target him and see what happens. Go ahead, boys. Light him up. Um, okay. Well, okay, don't. <laughs> I guess he was too far away. We're gonna try this again. Here we go. This is going to be a little bit difficult because there's no wind that way. Ah, uh, well, that's good. These, oh, wow. Ocean physics. Is that what this is called? All right. Get some, get some wind. Here we go. This is going to be it. I want to get over here. It's like six brigs. Watch, watch. What I want to be able to do is I want him to get behind me, not broadside. I want him to be behind me because if he's behind me, and I think I can take him. Oh, 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 oh. I think we got a nibble. Oh, we got a nibble. Oh, we got... Oh, yeah. He, he, we got his attention now. There we go. Get him. Now, I want to I want to stop for a second just so he, he knows we're here. And then I want to go. I'm going to stop a little bit. I don't, is he not going to come over here? He just, oh, 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 no, he, he sees me. Ah! There we go. That's what we want. We want to stay far enough ahead of him so that he's coming into my guns as I'm going away from his. And, um, yeah, looks like that's something we should be able to do. I don't want to go into the next sector, though. See the, the server line? Oh, great. And it's raining. Probably cyclones. You watch. I haven't had a cyclone all day. And, the day, and now there'll be cyclones. No, nope, doesn't look like there's going to be. Okay. All right. Okay. Here we go, buddy. Come on. Take the bait. It's got to turn a little bit more. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're 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 good. We're good. Cause he's gonna he's gonna start catching up to us now, and I gotta gotta let him catch up. <laughs> Cool. We'll just fire guns underwater because that works. Don't don't let him broadside you. That's that's the bad thing to do. If he can get you broadsided, then you're kind of screwed. Oh, he's gonna turn? He's turning away. Come back here, you coward. Scared of a little rain? 
This is there's no rain dates for these these battles. Back here. Oh. Did I hurt your feelings? I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> really not. Come here, you. Make me chase you down in my little bitty boat. <laughs> oh, God, the water physics tonight are really forked. <laughs> oh. This is just almost too funny. All right, let's see. Yeah, I, the good thing is they don't heal up. At least not for a while. But he's got he's got speed on me if he can get if he can get me cornered. But I think if I play this right, I may be able to to work him down. Come on. He's gonna let loose a around here in a minute, and I'm gonna be oh lag lag. No lag spikes. Not right now. Can't afford them. Oh. What? Am I just going to go deeper into the water? Um, what's, what's, what's going on? Wind is changing a little bit. You going to turn? I don't think he's going to turn. I think I'm going to have to go, I'm going to have to go slap him in the face or something. Fifty-two thousand out of sixty-four. He's not really hurt that bad either. Come on, dude. Play with me. Generally, we'll see them all launch, and then it's going to be bad. All right, yeah, he's coming. Let's turn a little bit. Turn. Nope. He's still not coming after me. That's. You know, if I was out here not having any guns on my ship and um, and stuff, they they would, like, murderize me. But here I am just trying to get along. Oh, oh. Can't let him ram me. That's not good. Okay, there we go. Now he's coming. Oh, that's going to hurt. Ow. Okay. All right, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. There we go. See, now, we, now we're going. Ow, 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 ow. Don't kill my guys. Don't kill my guys. Okay. Shoot, guys, shoot. Oh no, that's not good. No wind. We're gonna dodge a little bit. Okay, we got him halfway and we're not really taking much damage, so I think we're good. Oh, this is craziness. That's insanity. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ah, go, 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 go. Turn into the wind. Let him get you. <laughs> it's, it's all about kiting. It's, it's just making sure you don't run into the land and you stay far enough ahead of him that his stuff isn't really... Oh, that got me. Ow. That hurt. Hurt a little bit. But but he's taking some hits. Let's go over this way some. I'm going to get away from the land over here because it's going to get shallow. And it's going to be a problem. Alright, let's go. Ah, <laughs> missed me again. Burn. We gotta turn some so they can they can hit him. I mean, he's a level two. It's not like I'm ca I'm I'm blowing up a level fifty or whatever. But this boat is not big. David and Goliath. 
I'll blow him up. Get him, get him, get him, guys, get him. Get him, oh no, what's going on? I'm out of cannonballs? Oh! <laughs> That is perfect. Last shot. I could have planned that better. Oh man, that is hilarious. <laughs> uh, and we leveled up. All right, let's go get our let's go get our loot, mateys. Let's see. Oh, there's no wind this way. Let's flip the sail around. I'm uh, I'm I'm just gobsmacked here. <laughs> that I actually caught that. Last, last cannonball takes him out. That's hilarious. All right, stop. All right, I can pick up one of these guys and I might just do that because then I can put four cannons on the back and that should, that should pretty well fix things just about right. And then I can put start putting levels into things like, um, you know, durability and damage. Well, we took some hits, but we're fine. The ship health is the little heart up in the top, in the right. So you can see, I didn't really get hurt that bad. Um, I'm going to, this is a little trick I'll show you. So to hire these guys, you got to have gold in your pocket, right? The sharks are going to come after them. But if you have a suit on, they won't come after you. So you can go out here and recruit in safety. Let's see. Who should we pick? Should we pick one-legged Chris Charlotte of the Strong? Let's do that. Hey, Charlotte, how would you like to come on with us? All right, come on. We want you to come to the boat. So let's, uh, let's get you following me closely. So... Okay, let's do it. Let's do this. The rest of you guys, you're kind of on your own. Sorry, guys. Sorry. All right, we got it. Oh, look. <laughs> that worked out well. Oh, Jesus. Uh, maybe not. Ooh. Uh, that that kind of almost made me sick a little bit. Uh, let's see. Climb up. Yeah, there we go. Now we're on the boat. And one-legged Charlotte should just climb on the boat with us. I can get this off of me. Come on, Charlotte. In the boat. In the boat, Charlotte. Come on, we'll do it this way then. Come on, get up here. In the boat. Are you on here? You're on here. Oh, you were on here. Uh, come on, on the boat. Bad guys are gonna come after you. Hopefully, yeah, I think she's in here now. Let's see. Back there. Oh yeah, there she is. Well, she was. <laughs> Where'd she go? Oh, oh man, yeah, this this water is messed up. I think she's in the boat. Let's let's go. Let's hope she's in here. We're going home. We're going home. We did it. We blew up a galleon with this little bitty sloop. Super sloop. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it taught you something. I hope you learned some uh, some cool ways to put a ship together. Like I said before, you don't have to do all this at once. You could do like the back half and leave the front half alone. Just put the new sail on there and, and add that later. If you're worried about weight and speed, you can leave the cannons off and just use the diving attachment for a while and get your some gold built up. It's really up to you. And the goal here is, again, not to be... This is not a battleship. You can see my, some of my panels are a little bit dark. So that's that's armor that's getting ready to get broken. But it's not broken yet. And I'm certainly I don't have any planks busted and I'm not leaking anywhere. So that the armor did its job. And, uh, you know, with this little sloop here, you keep throwing points into weight. And then as you get your weight up and you can start moving better with your boat, drop it into durability or damage so that the guns on the back do more damage. You can do what you need to do to get the map explored without being afraid you're going to get sunk by pirate ships because you zone into a pack of them. 
to get the speed up enough so that you can get out of trouble. Use the handling sail so that you catch wind pretty much any direction that you're going. And then, you know, once you, you're doing that and you're searching wrecks, and if you get some pieces that you want to replace with higher level pieces, then go for it. Build yourself up a nice little party boat here. <laughs> House boat, whatever you want to call it. You know, it's up to you. It's your boat. You do what you want to with it. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, please take the second and hit the like button. It really does help me out with the YouTuberisms out there. It gets my videos out there for more people to see. If you uh, really enjoyed the videos that I put out, consider hitting the subscribe button. I promise I'll keep putting them out as long as people want to watch them. It's a lot of fun and I, I hope that translates in the content that I put out. I hope to be back to streaming in January, so we'll have some more streaming content, but I did want to focus a little bit on doing some of these instructional videos just to help people out because there's a lot of folks that are getting games that are new to them, even if they're not new games. And I want people to be able to enjoy them and learn from some of the mistakes that I've made and be able to get around those and not have to deal with them in the future. All right, well, thank you so much for coming. I really do appreciate it. Y'all stay safe. Be well, and this is Julie signing out.